In this video, we'll look at how we can add a driver to the Eclipse project in order to connect to our database. We'll understand what a software driver is. You'll learn how to import the driver. And you'll learn how to add the driver to the project library. First, some important terms that you'll need to know to understand what we're doing. A driver is a form of middleware, software that comes in between other technologies. It's used to connect one technology to another. You can think of it as a kind of translator that translates commands sent from one technology to commands that can be understood by another technology. Another important term is that of a JAR file. JAR stands for Java Archive. This is a file that aggregates a library of Java classes in a compressed format. So we can incorporate Java classes that are generally not included in a project by importing and adding a JAR file to our project library. Let's see how we'll do that in Eclipse. Here I have our database demo project open. To include the driver, first we'll import the driver so that its file is actually a part of our project. This is necessary if we're ever going to move the project around on our storage. The driver will move along with it. Then second, we're going to add the driver as a library to our project. For the first part, let's find a convenient place to put it. One nice place to put it in a web project is inside of our web content in the web int folder. There's a folder you'll find called lib. Right click on the lib folder. From the pop-up menu, choose import. And in the import dialog, choose file system. We need to specify the directory in which we're going to find our file. So select Browse. Search your hard drive for the location where you stored your downloaded driver file. For mine, I chose MySQL, and I put it in a folder called MySQL Files. I can expand that a little bit, and I see in that I have another folder called MySQL Connector. That's where I put it. You'll just have to remember where yours is located. And select Open. In the left frame, you see the directory that you selected. I'm going to select that. In the right frame of the dialog, you'll notice all of the files are selected. I currently just want the MySQL connector jar file, so I'm going to deselect everything that's not that file. Double check some of the others. Notice it's going into database demo, web content, web inf, lib folder, and select finish. If you expand the live folder, you'll now see that the jar file is included. The second thing that we need to do is to make sure our project recognizes the library stored in the jar file as one of the components of this project. Right click on the project name in the Project Explorer window and select Build Path. We're going to configure the build path. In the Properties for the Database Demo dialog box, be sure that the Libraries button is selected so that we see the libraries that are included. In a dynamic web project, we generally have the libraries included here. We want to add a JAR file, so we're going to choose Add Jars. You may think that we would add external jars. These are for things that are not included in our particular project. It may be useful if you do not actually import the JAR file to your project as we did in Step 1. We're going to select Add Jars. Notice that Database Demo, my project, is currently selected here. Let's expand that until we actually find the JAR file that we imported and select that. Okay, we now notice that that has been added to our libraries and select OK. At this point, the database driver has been added to our project. It has been loaded so that it's recognizable by the project and we should be good to go to, to create a database connected application. In this video, you learned what a software driver is, you learned how to import the driver into your Eclipse project, and you also learned how to add the driver to your project library. This has been a Piercy production.